Good evening, everybody. I am Dr. Kanhu Charnapatro. Today, we will discuss about the radiology of the parotid gland. Mostly useful for the radiation oncologist. So parotid gland is one of the important gland in the salivary gland. Today we will do those. Uh, uh, today we will study the CT anatomy of the parotid gland. Parotid gland there are two two in pair uh, two in number so, uh, both right and left you know, near ear lobule and uh, it, it has a, we will study about the content and extension. In content, there are four structures mostly external carotid artery, parotid duct, retromandibular vein, and facial nerve. Apart from that, if sometimes parotid uh, enlarged parotid lymph nodes, you will find. So, if you see the structures from out to in or lateral to medially, you will find the facial nerve in its branches, retromandibular vein, external carotid artery. And part of the auricular temporal nerve and parotid lymph nodes are the usual content. So, if you see, this is the mandible, this is the medial pterygoid and masset, this is a masseter muscle, this is the parotid gland, red mark is the uh, external carotid artery, blue mark is the retromandibular vein, this is the facial nerve pores. If you see in other way, this is the mandible, this is the medial pterygoid, this is the masseter, this is the parotid gland, this is the deeper uh, deeper, part, uh, super, deeper lobe, this is superficial lobe, this is the retromandibular vein, this is the facial nerve pores, this is the external carotid artery, this is the retromandibular vein, this is a continuation of external jugular vein. If you see the external jugular vein, this is the external jugular vein, it divides in the retromandibular vein and posterior auricular vein. This retromandibular vein goes through the parotid gland and continues the superficial uh, temporal tributaries. And another important part is the parotid gland, the duct, which is emerged from the anterior part of the parotid, goes superficial to the mastoid muscle, mas masseter muscle, and uh, pierces the vaccinator muscle, opens into the buccal mucosa opposite to the upper second molar tooth. Upper second molar tooth. And this is the, you can see the opening of the parotid duct. And this is the masseter muscle, this is the parotid gland. This is the peristension stop, otherwise known as the parotid duct. And you can see the masseter muscle here. This is the um, course of facial nerve. This is the retromandibular vein. This is the external carotid artery. Let's see slice by slice. If you go from down to up, you will see this is the parotid gland here and this is the anterior extension of the parotid gland is known as the associated parotid gland this is the retromandibular vein from go down to upward if you go to the retromandibular vein and uh, if you go upward again slowly if you go you can see the retromandibular how it courses slowly you will find the external carotid branch it is coming inside and it is lying medial to the retromandibular vein and uh, and retromandibular vein. If you go upward and upward, see this retromandibular vein uh, goes as a superficial temporal uh, vessels. And you can see the some part of the parotid gland also uh, above the external auditory canal. So you don't forget to contour this one external parotid canal, uh, external uh, sorry, uh, parotid gland. And if you go downwards, if you see the accessory parotid gland is lying lateral to the masseter muscle. And if you see the stensions duct here opening in the opposite to the second molar tooth, and you see the parotid, you can see the course of the stensions duct here, and it is opens to the uh, going to the boxing muscle and open to the buccal mucosa along the opposite to the second molar tooth. So this is if, uh, just uh, again, it is a deeper lobe here. This is a superficial lobe. This is the retromandibular vein. This is the external carotid artery. This is the accessory parotid lobe and this is the stensions duct. And uh, some, we cannot see the facial nerve here properly. Uh, 
but if for that reason we have to see the MRI uh, without uh, MRI seeing the facial nerve is very difficult you can see the you can see the course of his you can see the force of course of facial nerve here that is very uh, very superficial part of the nerve so this is the only uh, some uh, facial nerve it is all about the parotid gland anatomy as well as the its contents thank you very much